lot of flooding ongoing across the Carolinas, Virginia, portions of Georgia, as well as southern West Virginia and eastern Kentucky. Tornado watches along the coastline, and that just shows you all the rich moisture that's popping into the system with some warm, moist air coming in off the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. That's promoting the growth of severe weather in the Carolinas, including tornadoes today in and around downtown Charlotte. And north of there, the moisture train just remains in place with a stalled stationary boundary. As that moisture comes up and over the boundary, of course, we're squeezing the atmosphere out and we're going to continue to do that as we go through the overnight period across some of the same locations. Most of this heavy rain, though, as you watch the radar, will continue up into the eastern shore and should miss most of Baltimore. Now, we'll still get some steady rain during the overnight hours, but once again, most of it's going to be south and east of the city over towards the I-95 stretch and down into the eastern shore. Future cast hints on that nicely. It keeps the heaviest of the rain off towards our south, but everybody will fill in with rain as we go through the overnight period. The further north and west you go, a lot less. The further south and east you go, a lot heavier on the rain as well as the total. So generally looking at probably an additional inch of rain here in most locations. Tomorrow morning, we'll get the rain out of here after about 9 o'clock. We'll be left over with a couple of showers, maybe even a snow shower up there across portions of Frederick County as things dry out with the wind that will be cranking wind advisories in place for much of the eastern shore for gusts upwards of 40 to 50 miles per hour and these will be throughout the day on your Friday. There's the winds even in Baltimore. We could reach gusts around 40. I think they'll be a little bit lower than that in most locations. Once again, that advisory only in place for the eastern shore. If you want a taste of winter, head west by three and a half hours out towards Garrett County. It will snow out there for many of the ski resorts from Maryland and Pennsylvania down into West Virginia, upwards of three to five inches plus on the highest of hilltops out there in the high country. Tonight's forecast, upper 40s and lower 50s. Temperatures will actually rise with localized high water. Heavy rain again tomorrow morning. Windy as temperatures fall. And then we actually get a drier weekend for a change, both Saturday and Sunday. Maybe a snow flurry early Sunday morning, but we're relatively dry for the weekend with highs in the 40s before more rain and sogginess as we get towards the next week.